Thank you, Laura. Next, I'd like to ask Juan Pina from Greenfield, California, to speak. Juan, please come up. Thank you. Thank you, Juan. My name's Juan Pina. First of all, I want to thank the Remembrance Project for bringing my daughter's name out to light and for candidate Trump to let me speak about her. And I've got a lot of people that I need to thank. My daughter was Christy Sue Pina back in 1990. She was kidnapped, strangled, stabbed, raped, and sodomized, and her new body was found in the artichoke field. I've been fighting for 28 and a half years. He's been fighting. He was loose for 25 in the last three and a half years. He's been fighting extradition. And on May 3rd, God answered my prayers. Mexico finally turned them loose to us, and he is now in the Monterey County Jail, and we did start court procedures for my daughter's death. And I want to thank everybody that was involved in getting them over here, the Sheriff's Department of Monterey County, for the investigator. The sheriff never told her, don't give up on this, just stay on it and stay on it. And she pinky swore that she was going to get him over there, and she did. And I just want to thank the president and everybody. And I just hope everybody can get what I just got. And I'm out here speaking for the thousands of victims that we have here in the United States. And I want to thank you all. Thank you. So Juan fought for many years, and uh, it's uh, hard to believe, but that's actually a great feeling. Yes, it is. That you just uh, incredible job.